Okay, here's a video on solving two-step inequalities. And we have solved two-step equations, so it's pretty much the same thing. So we've done addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But now we'll do it with two steps. So here's an example here. Now, when we're doing two-step equations, it's important that when we remember gemdis, remember pemdis, but we now know it as gemdis, we want to do the reverse of gemdis when we do equations, and we went over this when we did linear equations. So let's just review. So remember, we want to do the reverse of gemdis, so we want to get rid of any minus or additions first. So we see this minus 5 on this side of the inequality, and we say inequality because we have an inequality sign. Okay, so as we can see here, we want to get rid of, we want the x, this variable, alone. So we're going to get rid of the 5 by doing the opposite operation. Whatever we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. And we're going to add 5 on each side. So now we bring down the 2x. And we want to say the 2x is greater than 18. Now the x is still not alone. This is the same rules we went over with linear equations. We're going to divide out the 2 on both sides. And we're not dividing a negative, so we're not flipping the signs. So we're just going to say now that x is greater than 9 x is greater than 9. And just to review the graph, we can review the graph. We're saying here's 0, here's a 9. We're saying x is greater than 9. We're not saying it equals 9, so we're not filling it in. Okay, let's look at another example here. So here's another way of remembering it, doing the reverse of gemdis. If you, if you don't remember doing the reverse of gemdis when we do inequalities and equations, you can think of it also this way. You want to make sure that the variable is alone, first of all. You also want to do any operation that's not connected to the variable. In other words, here we have a coefficient connected to the variable, 2x. So when they're connected, think of it like they're glued together. So we don't want to unglue them until everything else is gone. You can also think of it that way. Right? So think of the coefficient, which was the number next to the variable, and the variable itself as 1. Just think of them as 1 for now, until they are alone. So another way you can remember is just unglue them when, they're, when they are alone. Okay, so I'll give you another example on that. Let's say this. Try to do that one by yourself. Now, this is not an inequality. Why? Because it has an equal sign. So this is just a regular equation. So keep that in mind. Um, so if this was now, let's make it an, an inequality. All you have to do is just put an inequality symbol. Now this says 6m plus 12 is greater or equal to 12. So what's the first step we should do? Is the variable alone? No, it's not alone. It's stuck with that coefficient, 6m, and we know that 6m means 6 times m. So we want to unglue them, but we don't want to unglue them until they're alone, and they're not alone yet. So we want to get rid of the 12, and we're going to do the opposite operation. So we're doing the reverse of gemdis, or pemdis. We call it gemdis now. So now we're saying that 6m has to be greater or equal to 0 greater than or equal to 0. Remember, there's no negative, so we're not flipping the sign. Now we can unglue, do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, and we see that m has to be greater or equal to 0. Bring that up. And just remember that if we have a 0 on top, the answer will be 0. But if you have a 0 on the bottom, it's undefined. So if you ever see something like this, where you had, a, that is undefined. You can't have a zero in the denominator. Undefined. We'll go over those again. Okay, let's see. Now this one's a little tricky here. Because here we have more operations. So keep this in mind, and that's times, not a decimal. This is the only time you're going to use gemdis initially because what you want is you want all the operations done before you unglue and they're not done you have too many operations on this side so clean up any operations involving constants remember any number is a constant 
So here we can do the gem disk. So now we bring down the 6m here. And we're going to have a minus 2 or a negative 2 times 6. And negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Now we clean that up. Now we can do the reverse of gem disk. So try that on your own. See what you get. Okay, we want to do the opposite of a minus 12, which is plus 12. Whatever we do to one side of the inequality, we do to the other, just like with linear equations. Now we're saying 6m has to be greater or equal to 14. Now we can unglue them, because they're alone. Divide out the 6, we're doing the opposite operation. And here we have m is greater or equal than 14 sixths. Now if I say you can keep it improper, and sometimes you can keep it improper, you leave it that way, or I'll ask you to make it a mixed number. Right? And in that case, now if I say make it a mixed number and simplify it, so we'll say m is greater or equal to 2, well let's just write that 14 over 6 will become, bring that up here, 2 and 2 6, and we can even keep going from there, m is greater or equal to 2 and 1 third. So that's if I ask you to simplify it completely. But if I don't ask you to simplify it, you can keep it as an improper fraction. So remember this, you want only one operation of constants before you undo or reverse gemdis. So if you have more operations on one side, make sure you clean that up before you do anything else. Okay, try this one. Just pause the tape and try that. You notice now that the way we wrote it, it's on the other side. It doesn't matter. It's the same way. So we want the x alone, but the 5 is connected to it. So we don't want to unglue it yet until we get rid of this 8. Doing the opposite operation. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So now you have, remember that's plus. So now you're having 20 is greater than 5x. You now divide out the 5 on both sides, and we're saying that 4 is greater than x, or x is less than 4. And then on a chart, just write it on a chart here, we can say that that's 0 and that's 4, and we're saying x is less than 4. Be careful, x is less than 4, and you're not filling it in because we're not saying it could be 4. So see if you can do this one. Okay, so let's clear up these constants before we do anything. So it's x over negative 12, or negative x over 12. So now we have 3 times negative 5, right? That's negative 15. So we don't have to put a plus negative 15. We can just say, we just put the minus sign there. It's negative 15. If you want, you can, you can put plus negative 15 if you want to do that. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have to get rid of that 15. We have a negative 15, so we're going to plus it. So that cancels out. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. And what do we do from here? So now we have x over negative 12 is less than, and we have 24. 9 plus 15 is 24. Okay, so let's move this up. Clean this up over here. That's what we have so far. And remember, what we have now is negative 112x is less than 24. We can divide it out now. That cancels. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. And now, remember, we're doing a negative. We're dividing a negative on both sides. So we know that this symbol is going to be flipped. Okay, so let me write it up here now. We see that over there. So what we're seeing here is 24 over 1 divided by 1 12th, negative 1 12th. And we flip it. Don't forget to flip it and don't forget the negative sign. And that'll give us our answer. Right? And so that'll be negative 288 over 1 or just negative 288. Okay, so I'll just hold it there for a minute so you can see it. So now we know that the answer is negative 288. 
we have an x on this side and we're flipping it. So we're going to say that x is not less than anymore, it's going to be greater than negative 288. Okay, you should uh, rewind the tape and watch this again if you were confused with any of the topics, but great job.